A new Chinese artificial intelligence tool is raising concerns from Silicon Valley to Wall Street this morning. It's called DeepSeek, and yesterday it became the most downloaded free app in the U.S. on Apple's App Store. It is most recent chatbot model was released just last week. DeepSeek's AI assistant functions very similar to American-made chat GPT. Look at your screen here in this side-by-side -side video. The two platforms even look the same. You might be familiar with chat GPT. But after it triggered a major tech stock sell-off yesterday, China's new tool has some U.S. lawmakers and investors questioning America's spot as the global AI leader. NBC News personal technology analyst Joanna Stern joins us now with more on this. She's also <clears throat> a senior personal technology columnist for The Wall Street Journal. Always good to have you with us, Joanna. I mean, for those who might be hearing about DeepSeek for the first time, which I think is most folks, <laughs> walk us through what it is and what it does. Well, you guys did a good job before explaining it. It really is like a chat GPT competitor, a competitor to all of these new large language model chat bots. And that's why people are downloading it. Sure, they, they want to see what the competitor is. But really, the big thing here is that this is out of China. And last year, Deep, uh, last week, DeepSeek released its new model, R1. And many in Silicon Valley were blown away by this model. And they also released one in December. And so this company has been growing and growing and growing some real mind share in Silicon Valley because of of how good this model is. And it isn't just that it's good. It's that the company says, this Chinese company says, that they have used a lot less money to train and create this model than the U.S. companies are. And that's why we saw the freak out yesterday on Wall Street. Yeah, Joanna, dive into that a little bit more. Like companies like OpenAI with ChatGPT or Google with Gemini, exactly what they've been spending in terms of the tech itself, the housing of data, the space that's needed to com to use like just the computing power and also just like what they're paying people and how many people they're recruiting versus what we know Deep Sea did and why that's so scary to these companies. Look, we don't have all the numbers, but what we do know is that the U.S. companies have been spending tens of billions of dollars on creating, training, inference. There's lots of technical terms of how these models are made. What we what DeepSeek has said is they have created their models just with five million dollars. And again, lots of lots of um, good reporting, lots of people in the tech industry talking about, well, OK, DeepSeek didn't do this level of work on that model. They were also building off. It is believed they were building off of U.S. models, open source models. So they didn't have to do all the work. But of course, this has put the big pressure on the U.S. companies, Microsoft, Meta, OpenAI, Google, for why are you guys spending all all this money on all these big chips and data centers when look what China's doing more efficiently. You, you mentioned DeepSeek is a Chinese-based company. Is it like TikTok in that it could spark similar concerns over issues like national security or, or censorship? What should people know before they download it to their phones? Yeah, so this gets a little complicated because DeepSeek is using an open source model, and that means that it's open source. Other people can go and get it. They can start running it, and they can start playing with it. Obviously, TikTok, very different. It's its own app. You're seeing people download that DeepSeek app in the App Store, but there are other ways to get it. So if they were to ban that DeepSeek app, there would be lots of other ways to get to the DeepSeek model. So it's not as simple as banning. And as Savannah knows, it's really not as simple as banning because we don't actually have a ban right now on TikTok. <laughs> I would say on censorship, yes, you can go and ch uh, test DeepSeek right now. It will not talk about certain restricted Chinese topics, Tian Tiananmen Square, other types of things. Um, but overall, what you're getting right now is the ability to test this app in the DeepSeek app. And there's probably no harm to doing that if you're not giving a lot of personal information. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.